What's up guys? So it is Friday, we got another update video. We're just gonna be talking about the event. That is the main addition to the update. Uh, there is now this little totem here. If you look at the Jogers, if we go to uh, yep, table, monster, Yoger, and we look at Yogers, <laughs> they now drop the totem, which is needed to kill the champion, which you can see the drops here. Main thing you're looking for is the gilded totem. That's the main unique. So you have the totem in inventory, zone one on one, and then you look at totem, and then yes. And you got the big old boss right here. Big daddy. Make sure you update your client. Nobody ever updates their client. Make sure all you have to do is restart your client. Restart your client and you're good to go. You probably didn't even see my uh, book uh, unless he updated his client. So pretty straightforward, just kill this Bajigger. And again, the main thing you're looking for is the totem. The, the gilded totem from this, that's what you're looking for. So then boom, tons and fun loot. Good times were had by all. Go back here, and then, if, and then if you don't pause your video, if you spawn all the stuff, because you can spawn stuff, that's not even the right ID. So you have one of each shield, and then the gilded totem. You can come to the artifact nerd, and then exchange it for a nice new shield, which is the combined stats of all of them. So yeah, nice new shield. This one actually will probably be useful because it, you know, has really good defensive stats plus the prayer bonus. I mean, yeah, definitely you could see places use this. You can also, if you talk to this dude, you can also exchange any Brutus shields you have for the totems. The totems are what you use to kill it. So, you know, you can, you can, if you already have a bunch of them, you basically can just kill it right away. So then there are two new inventions, not in any really important ones, but there are two new ones. Wrath Talisman, it allows you to make the Wrath Talisman. It also means that you can create runes. Uh, so basically when you make a talisman, it gives you a teleport option and you have a one in five chance of potentially losing that talisman. But, uh, you know, that's just the, 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 the cost. I'm always like, at the end of these videos, uh, my mind is just gone from, from the entire days of coding. But uh, anyways, Wrath House made Wrath Runes, all that fun time, 15, yes, fun, fun times. And then the next one is Enhanced Crystallizer, and this thing, a little more fancy, let me show you. If we create, boom, five keys, you can see, so this basically just, it, it reduces the crystal shard cost. It's by half. So if you wanted to make one crystal key, it would cost 10 crystal shards. Now with this method, it would cost five. At the cost of generic components, and if you're anything, if you're any familiar with generic components, that's not difficult to get at all. Another thing uh, that was added, and this is props to Dark, if you examine in shops, it now examines. It'll, and this is, this is mostly important for this shop specifically because now you can see the component costs. And then also with the donator zone or the donator shop, you get a little bit more information on some items. I definitely need to take this like now that this code exists, I need to make sure you uh, have more options. Uh, you'll notice these two new items: the Book of Terror and the Book of Sliske. The Book of Light. I'm sorry, Sliske is the Terror, and then Saren is obviously Book of Light. I'll show you these stats right now. Terror plus twenty four slash and plus eight strength bonus. It is a slash. If so, if you're if you're using a whip, this is definitely a nice uh, offhand. Then of course prayer bonus, and then this one is a range mage hybrid one, which is really nice bonuses. And then if you could sort of, I mean, you you would never be able to guess. So I'm not even gonna give you spoilers, but uh, yeah, the imbued eye, uh, imbued heart, and infinite stew all have had their cooldowns reduced a little bit. Uh, and the imbued eye is supposed to have a higher boost, but he's saying it's not. I didn't, um, I, I didn't double check it. I, 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 sh I didn't triple check it, I should say. I double checked it and it didn't work, and then I was like, oh, I gotta fix that, and then just forgot to fix it. So I'll, I'll have to get that, but I, I will. People have been asking about the imbued eye, and I'll, I, I will improve it. A couple other minor improvements, um, like the cash, ca uh, the, ca the, uh, chaos rune pack is now the appropriate price in that shop. Obviously, that's not important enough to go over there and show you, but for some reason, I'm walking that direction. Okay, last thing that's really worth talking about. I'm just going to leave this link in the description below, and you can see it for yourself. Last thing we're talking about is the Dragonstone, Onyx, and Zenite Donators now have a nice new little bonus. What, what level of Donator am I? Cool, I have money. I am a big boy. I did not spawn enough money, did I? There we go. So now there's a Matete Seller over here over to her 
Uh, so a Dragonstone Machete, Machete, uh, Onyx Machete, Zenite Machete. We'll buy the Zenite just to show you. Oh, I oh you need twenty five hundred dollars. I forgot about that. Twenty five thirty two nine four. That's not the right ID, dummy. That's the wrong ID. Okay, and now are we? I'm a developer donator. Yeah. Okay. Now we can do it, man. So Zenite Machete, and then this is better than a whip. Better than uh, this. This one's actually. Is this one? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this one's better than a tentacle whip. Or yeah, yeah, because they're the same as slash bonus with higher strength bonus. So yeah, these are basically your best weapons to get in the game. So if you're twenty five hundred dollar donator, you can get the best weapon in the game for free. Well, for seventy five mil in game, but yeah. Um, as far as like what additions we'll do to these or any upgrades in the future. Uh, we'll see, but for now it's, you know, it's now it's, it, for, for right this moment when it's added, it's actually going to be useful and it should be a good weapon for any of those three levels to use. The, uh, the Dragonstone and the Onyx are obviously less stats than this one, but they all are better than a whip, so it is essentially a free whip if you're at that, you know, level of donator and you have the actual in-game cash to purchase them. So that's pretty much it. Like I said, there's some other changes, some other uh, balancing changes, like the corrupt redwood logs now give more experience when you make them. The magic jewelry polish requires less uber components. All of that stuff's gonna be in the description below. I am, my brain's dead. We should have some good, actual good videos, another Bankbusters, another episode. No, I think I already uploaded the Master Series. I think that, that just came up, but I do have some more videos planned, uh, and hopefully I'll see you soon with them.